Hi guys, this is Lexi here from Tutorial QTXOX, and today in GIMP I'm going to be showing you how to change hair colour. Um, so first thing you want to do is zoom in the picture. Um, it depends how detailed the hair is, like if it's curly or kind of like flipped out in different directions, you might want to zoom in a bit more. But 200% for me is good. This was the original and I zoomed in to 200%. This is probably good because her hair in this picture is fairly straight. So, um, But it depends on the picture. So, um, First you're going to click on the pass tool and start outlining the hair. Um, this You're going to spend a lot of time doing this. Um, I'm not going to spend a ton of time today because just for the sake of time of the tutorial, I'm just going to kind of do a really crappy job. But um, you're going to spend, if you want this to look really, really good, a lot of time on this. I'm just kind of going to go around the hair, not really caring. Um, but yeah, so that's yeah, once. Um, there are two primary ways to change hair color using GIMP. There's one way for an eccentric color. Um, to get colors like pink and blue and green and orange and purple, um, there's one way to do that. And then the other way is primarily for natural colors, um, like browns, reds, blacks, blondes. Um, but you can also use that way too for eccentric colors if you wish. Um, so I will be showing you how to do both ways today in this tutorial, but um, for both ways you're going to need to do the paths and um, the zooming in. So okay, once you have this selected, obviously again you're going to take a lot more time than I did because this is a really, really bad outline job because I did that really, really fast. But um, So once you have an outline, you're going to click selection from path, you'll see this little running line. Obviously yours will actually be like decently around the hair, mine just kind of goes in every which way because I kind of outlined it crappily but whatever. Um, so the first way to do this to make it like look like eccentric hair color is um, you're going to go into um, colors and hue saturation, drag around the hue slider and you'll see this changes to green, um, you can make it purple, pink, blue, like a teal, whatever color you want and then just click OK if you wanted. Obviously, you'll still see some blonde around here because I didn't outline perfectly. But that's basically how to change hair color with like an eccentric color. You can change it to whatever you want. Um, obviously, sometimes you're going to want to change it to a normal color if you want to like pretend to like dye the hair. So what you're going to do is let me undo the green. Okay, what you want to do is um, click on the colors and change your foreground color to like a hair color. Like I'm going to change this to like a dark brown sort of. Yeah, I like this right here. I already have it in my tabs. So once you have a color that you like, um, you're going to click OK and click on the bucket tool right here. And you're going to make sure fill whole selection selected. Now what you want to do is click on layer, new layer, and make sure it's on transparent. And you'll see the layers tab. Make sure the new layer is selected right here. And go back into the bucket tool again. Make sure fill whole selection selected and make sure the foreground color is like whatever color you want the hair to be and click on the hair and you'll see obviously this looks ridiculous right now but um, now what you're going to do is go into the layers tab and you can change the mode to either I recommend overlay and you'll see it gets like this dark goldy sort of color or um, multiply and then it gets like this dark chestnut sort of color and then um, once you have a desired color you can even mess around with the different okay that looks completely ridiculous but some of these um, don't, like, soft light actually looks okay. Um, you can mess around, um, grain merge actually looks kind of cool too. Just mess around with the modes. I, again, recommend overlay or multiply for the most natural color, but, um, you can actually play around with this quite a bit if you want to. Um, whoa, that's, like, platinum blonde, but I'm going to stick with the multiply. Um, and now what you're going to do is, once you have the desired hair color, you're going to click, um, Select and then click none and you'll see she has her new hair color on right now Obviously this does not look very natural or good because I didn't take my time outlining a hair But obviously you're going to take a lot more time outlining um, the hair and it'll look really really good um, So that's basically how to change hair color using GIMP um, If you have any questions you can um, email my YouTube account Please comment, rate, subscribe and request